From viruses to mummies, all the way to a World War II plane, and maybe even some alien bacteria. I am Olivia Kozlowski, and here are the top 10 dark things scientists found frozen in ice that will leave people speechless. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have Molly virus. Back in 2015, French researchers discovered a gigantic virus that they found in a sample of Siberian permafrost. This spherical DNA virus wasn't just any old virus, no, this one was about 30,000 years old. For the virus to survive that long, frozen in ice truly is remarkable and also absolutely terrifying. There is good news, however, it is said that although some refer to this virus as a behemoth, it is said that the new discovery only infects amoebas, which means that it is unlikely to ravage the planet anytime soon. At least we hope. In our number 9 spot today, we have Lake Vostok. Many of us have heard of Atlantis, but have you heard of Lake Vostok? This lake is located in Antarctica and it is so huge, it's one of the largest lakes in the entire world. The lake not only has a large surface area, but it's also quite deep, which only adds to the volume of the lake. It's like the lakiest lake out there, and here's the thing about it. It is covered by ice, and not just any ice, but the East Antarctic Ice Sheet, which is just the largest ice sheet in the world. This subglacial lake has ice so thick that we don't really know a lot about what lies beneath it, and the ice has been there for millions of years. But when the first samples of the actual lake water were taken, it became apparent that there may be species in the lake that we know absolutely nothing about. In our number 8 spot today, we have the female mummy. Back in 2017, there was a mummy found in Siberia that absolutely rocked the scientific community. This discovery was so remarkable because, deep within the permafrost, close to the Arctic Circle, they found the mummified remains of a woman who was roughly 900 years old. Said to have come from the medieval times, this marked the first woman to be discovered in that area, as previously it had been mostly men. It appears as though the mummification part was accidental, but it was quite a surprise to researchers who had thought that they wouldn't find a woman's remains in the area at all. It is said that all of the bodies found in this area belong to a hunting and fishing civilization, and this discovery gave experts very valuable insight into their lives and the times in which they lived. In our number 7 spot today, we have Mount Erebus. Mount Erebus is the highest active volcano in Antarctica, as well as the southernmost active volcano on Earth. Got a lot going on. The volcano has been active for 1.3 million years and it features a lava lake in the inner summit crater that's been present since the early 1970s. You might be thinking, uh, it's a volcano, which surely is like the opposite of ice, right? But as it turns out, this volcano is like the definition of fire and ice. Here you can be sure to find numerous ice fumaroles, which are ice towers that form around the gases that are released or that escape from the vents on the surface. This creates a perfect home, not for many, but for some persevering and adaptable bacteria and fungi. This gives scientists quite the opportunity to study these organisms that can live in this extreme environment that doesn't really provide a lot of resources. In our number 6 spot today, we have the Iceman. The mummy of Oatsy, who is also referred to as the Iceman, was found in 1991 in the Oatsal Alps in Italy. It is believed that Oatsy lived around 3000 BC and his body became mummified and preserved because of the glacier that surrounded him post-mortem. While this is an incredibly interesting discovery, the finding of Oatsy may have come in a package with an old curse just waiting to be released. Here's the thing, the people who helped with the discovery of Oatsy are all dying under mysterious circumstances. I mean, it is said that there were seven deaths in one year alone, so if there is a curse, it's clearly a pretty strong one. It's almost as if disturbing a man who's been in the same spot for 53 centuries wasn't the best idea that anyone's ever had. In our number 5 spot today, we have Europa. We are going off planet for this one. One of Jupiter's moons, called Europa, has a red tint to it, and in 2001, NASA scientists revealed that it's possible that alien microbes might be responsible for this red color. The surface of this moon is mostly ice, but it has been shown that it reflects infrared radiation in a really bizarre way. This means that something is binding it together, but researchers haven't been able to come up with the correct combination of elements and compounds to make the data make sense. There are some bacteria on Earth that can thrive in extreme conditions that also have that red and brown color, which could potentially be responsible for for the color on this moon. The surface temperature might be too cold for them to survive, but the warmer interior might be where they are located. Some geological activity on the moon could then push them closer to the surface, where they are then flash frozen in place. 
In our number 4 spot today we have P38. In 2018, a team of researchers were using a drone with ground penetrating radar technology when they found something that no one could have predicted. 300 feet deep in the Greenland ground encased in ice was a World War II plane. This P38 lightning fighter plane is actually just one out of eight that were a squadron. This P38 lightning fighter plane was actually just one out of eight that were a part of a squadron. This group had all been lost and had crash landings after a blizzard on July 15, 1942. After locating the fighter plane, researchers were able to then excavate it, but there still remains at least four in this squadron that have yet to be located. In our number three spot today, we have Skeleton Lake. Also sometimes referred to as Mystery Lake, this place is exactly what it sounds like. It's a lake and there's a bunch of skeletons there. Located in the Himalayas, this lake freezes over in the winter months, but when the snow melts, there are various skeletons around the site that become visible around the edges of the lake. There have been many speculations as to how these people died, and at one point it was thought that these remains were a result of a pretty legendary event where all in a single group they were killed by a large and violent hailstorm, but the leading theory has since changed. Now it is said that the remains actually belong to three distinctly different groups who all died in separate events. At this point the real story of what happened here may just remain a mystery that has left us with a haunting image. In our number 2 spot today we have Luba. This is the name that was given to a baby mammoth. Mummified remains were found frozen and extremely well preserved in ice. Luba would have roamed the earth about 48,000 years ago which is truly incredible to think about. These mammoth remains were found in 2007 but it was actually a complete accident. The remains were found by a hunter who was out on a frozen peninsula in Russia. But here's where the story takes a bit of a crazy turn. So the man who discovered these remains didn't want to touch her because of a cultural belief that touching a mammoth would cause a bad omen so he traveled to a nearby town to consult a friend and this is when they decided to contact the authorities. The authorities then flew out to the area to collect the remains but when they arrived she had disappeared. The person who found her knew that someone had likely taken her to try and turn a profit so he began doing some investigations. Long story short, they found the remains outside of a local store and this is when it was revealed to them that the guy who had found the remains initially, his cousin had stolen them and brought them here in exchange for two snowmobiles. In the end, there was unfortunately minor damage to the body that included dogs having chewed off her right ear, but still the find and discovery was still incredible and she was transported to a museum where she continues to give people a look into a time on earth long ago. In our number one spot today we have the Incan mummy. 20,000 feet above sea level on the edge of a volcano, researchers were startled to find a woman frozen in ice. This Incan mummy is said to have been so well preserved that she even still had lice in her hair. The researchers and doctors who examined her after her discovery were completely baffled at how well preserved she was, so much so that some of her features reminded them of a living, breathing human being. Even down to the extremities, it truly was just remarkable. It is believed that this woman likely met her fate where she was found as a result of sacrifice. Because of her well preserved nature, scientists were able to determine that she was suffering from quite a few ailments, including tuberculosis, which some believe is the reason why she was sacrificed. Alright guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlovsky, and I will see you all again soon. <laughs> Goodbye.